Hello again, and welcome to Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Today, we're looking at the preposition into. Now, we use into when we want to show movement from one place to another. Usually, the other place is enclosed. For example, I opened the door and walked into the room and sat down. Or, a bird flew into my kitchen through the open window. Or, my monthly salary is paid into my bank account. Into, to show movement from one place to another. The opposite of into is out of. For example, I got out of my car and went into the shop. So, we use into when we mean enter an enclosed space. For example, a room, a building, a car. When we talk about a more open area, for example, a bus, a train, a plane, where you physically have to step up, climb, or do something to get inside that machine, we use get on. You get on a bus. You get off a train. Have a look at Uncle Jeff's board. Here are some sentences with missing prepositions. What are they? Have a look at the first one. The Amazon flows the Atlantic Ocean. What word goes in here? Have a look at number two. When we arrived, we got the car and went the hotel. Which prepositions fit? Number three, she got the bus and I never saw her again. And the last one, I lost my key so I climbed the house through an open window. What are the missing prepositions? They all convey movement. Look at the first one. The Amazon flows into, into the Atlantic Ocean. The Amazon flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Number two. When we arrived, we got the car and went the hotel. So we arrived, we got out of the car. Opposite of into, out of. When we arrived, we got out of the car and went into the hotel. Very nice. Number three. She got the bus and I never saw her again. So she got on the bus and I never saw her again. And finally, I lost my key, so I climbed into the house through an open window. You can see the movement. The word into shows a picture. It paints a picture of climbing in through the window. I lost my key, so I climbed into the house through an open window. So there we are, the lovely little preposition into. English grammar, it's easy peasy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Bye bye for now.